वेलकम ऑल सो कंटिन्यूंग आवर बिगिनर्स लर्निंग ब्लेजर वी विल बी डूइंग द पार्ट फोर टुडे एंड दैट इज अबाउट इवेंट कॉल बैक सो व्हाट्स एन इवेंट कॉल बैक अ कॉमन सिनेरियो व्हेन देयर आर नेस्टेड कंपोनेंट्स इज दैट द पेरेंट कंपोनेंट्स मेथड शुड रन व्हेन अ चाइल्ड कंपोनेंट्स इवेंट गेट्स ट्रिगर्ड ऑल्सो एन इवेंट कॉल बैक इज यूज्ड टू एक्सपोज इवेंट्स अक्रॉस कंपोनेंट्स so in this case a parent component can assign a callback method to a child events callback or child components event callback and now let's flip over to visual studio to do the coding right so here i have got i have been doing it on a get started blazor so i have already a child component and a parent component which i have i mean deleted the earlier component to start a fresh so this is within the pages uh, folder directory so let's start the coding with the child component first so in the child component i'll have to create a div and to hold the title and the child content and a button so mm -hmm. hope it's all right for you to code along this is the default panel default class and there are a couple of classes which i have already copied from the uh, on a clipboard and i will just paste it just to save time so one is the panel heading class for writing the title and another is the panel body for the child content okay now there is a button and we'll be talking about the click event of the button button class being btn btn primary or button button primary which is a commonly used um class bootstrap class and at on click so i have not written the i have not assigned the on click to anything so we'll just do it that in a minute let me write the on click what this on click is assigned to that will be the event callback all right so let me just complete this first trigger a parent component method and we'll just hold on to writing the at on click event so let's finish with the code so let's start writing the that's silly now within curly bracket everything c sharp code will be there and i've got a parameter Will be a public property. I am not getting this because this is incomplete here. So let me complete this first. Get event. Okay, and then still not okay. Anyway, uh, let's get going. So. set no intent intelligence at the moment because there are some squiggly lines so let's do one thing um 
let me build this application now <clears throat> for some reason the intellisense was uh, the earlier not coming uh, that could be a bug in visual studio or somewhere so what i did was i just um, deleted the child component and then recreated the child component and then i have written all the code that i have explained so far within the div class and now the intellisense has started working you can see so um, let me complete it so what's the property what's the parameter this um, the component parameter is basically a public property and through this parameter um, attribute so bouncing over as you can see that you know parameter attribute denotes the target member as a component parameter so it actually explicitly does so is it this is a child component and it's a parameter uh, child component parameter you know that needs to be in here it recognizes this as a parameter so then again parameter this time it will be of a render fragment type child content now render fragment always needs to be um, named as child content so this actually render fragment type this child content will be recognized by the parent as being the child it is a child component part um the child content is actually um whatever be the contents of this child component will be written in the panel body like here from this child content but it needs to if this child component is nested within a parent then it has to be always written as child component child content it cannot be written as anything else and it will still work no not like that so lastly there is another parameter that is event callback so again a parameter and this is a public event so this is our the gamut of our study today event callback and this is of type mouse event args and let us call this get event again a getter and a setter so because this is it doesn't exist in the pen thing so i need to correct here to write this as a title again now this is all right and i'll have to now come back to the parent component now one thing before shifting to the parent component is that in this example so far the code that we have written the child component has this child content property right and that represents a render fragment type now this rep render fragment represents a segment of ui to render the value of child content is positioned in the components markup this here again in the div which i have already told in the components markup where the content should be rendered now the value of child content is received from the parent component and rendered inside the bootstrap panels panel body okay this child content is actually received from the parent component so let's go for the parent component so on the top is the directive page directive for routing it to the parent component and then h1 header parent child example and then is the child component 
Now, the beauty of Blazor is that you know this child component or any component that is nested within that another component, which is the parent component in this case, and child component. This child component can be written just like an ordinary HTML tag, you know. So, with child component and end child component tag, and this will get all the um, you can say parameters of the child component. Child component title equals. Let me write, and this uh, after building, this red line will become a red title will become you know um, this same color, violet, dark violet or marine. So let me write a funny message or funny title. Hi kid, my. Parent supplied title, something like that, and then see here is a get event. Now this get event is now transferred over here. This acts like a method. Uh, this acts like an event, you know, just like a on click event or on change event, get event, and now I'll write. Assign it to a delegate type, which is a method that I'm going to soon write. So at show message, at this moment there is nothing, so it is showing this squiggly line. Now here, Great, really funny message I believe. Hey all, I am the child, I am happy for my parent to supply the content. Okay, you can write anything else of course. And let me come back to where this show message um, will be shown. So there will be a message text. This is a paragraph. Let us write. There is a variable as yet to be created variable. So let me name this message text and soon everything will be clear. Just be patient with me. Uh, at message text and let me write this in bold. Okay. Right now, that comes the code part. So I'll have to now declare this message text as a private string. That squiggly line will be gone now. Okay, it's gone. Now I'll have to create this delegate type or the event handler method which is show message so again this is private type private returns nothing show message spelling has to be the same exactly no typo is allowed show message it's all case sensitive as well so here is nothing but a message text is updated to Something like you know, blaze a new trail with blazer. That's it. Now let me build this. Uh, cannot convert method group show message to non-delegate type object. 
okay let me build this application so yuppie the build succeeded so now these all these squiggly lines are gone so we are ready to run this application control f5 again so this is already come up here and then let's browse to component rather parent component okay so everything is now clear and if you click on trigger a parent component method blazor new trail with blazor so basically what happened let's analyze the things um now the child component in this sample demonstrates how a button's on click handler on click handler is set up to receive an event call delegate now this is getting a event call delegate which is of event call back type from the sample's parent component okay it gets this delegate from the sample's um get event so it is getting through this get event which was originally initiated in the child component now it is getting the result out of the running of this show message method and what happens is that it it is set up to receive the event callback delegate from the sample parent component this way it's all interconnected and the event call back is tagged with mouse event args see this is the mouse event args which is an appropriate for on click event from a peripheral device now when the button is selected in the child component like we did the parent component show message method is called okay so get event equal to it is calling the show message method is called and message text is updated and displayed in the parent component okay clear okay so before leaving let's recap what we learned today so event callbacks were seen and how they help in exposing events across components that's it